Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video. This is how you trade the e-mini micro futures. In today's recording, I'm going to give you the best of the best. I'm going to show you some of the very best setups. I'm going to give you some background on the micros, why you should be trading them, and then show you how to trade them. Traders, I promise you, this will probably be one of the most, if not the most important video you ever watch on trading because I'm going to give you some background information show you how you can grow a small account very rapidly and then show you how to do it I'm just going to turn the camera on for a moment this the challenge is with day traders and I've trained over 8,000 day traders do they all make money no why because they're not willing to commit to the training that it takes now hang on before you hang up it's it costs peanuts to do my program and that's not what this uh, recordings really about today's recording is to really show you that you really can do this you see so many traders uh, think that they're committed to trading when in fact they're only really interested in trading and there's a massive difference traders so what if it takes you one two or three months to master one or two of the setups that I'm going to be showing you today time will pass anyway if you commit yourself to mastering just a couple of my setups that I'll show you today you can be up and running and trading profitably within months rather than spending years floundering around looking for the next shiny object looking for that trading system or strategy that so-called works now with the micros they were only introduced last year in um, what was that <laughs> 2019 and so since then it's really become a game changer and there's just these massive benefits which I'm going to show you today and then even more importantly share with you and and I'm very hesitant in saying this some secrets in trading the micros and some massive benefits over the micros rather than say trading the standard contracts and so if you've got a small account or perhaps trading hasn't been kind to you this is for you right or if you're a brand new trader and you want to master the art of trading this video is for you now the beauty is even if you don't have a thousand dollars because realistically that's how much you need is a thousand dollars or more to start trading the micros you can trade on the simulator for the next two or three months until you get it right in fact even if you had one hundred thousand dollars you wouldn't start trading live until you mastered what I'm about to show you today on the simulator then you start trading one micro and you build from there because you've got to earn the right to go from one contract to the second to the third to the fourth so let's get back to the PowerPoint and let's get into this so first of all traders I do need to pull up the disclaimer let me click on the right button here there we go there is a risk in trading don't trade with the rent money don't go live until you get this down pat and of course you're probably watching this on one of my emails or maybe on YouTube or someone said it to you sent this to you so pause the recording for a moment feel free to read the disclaimer okay I want you to make sure that you get the right education before you start trading real money very very quickly a quick advertisement will be 30 seconds you can download my free ebook the truth about day trading I've also got a free training manual you can uh, obtain so uh, you can get those free even better still make sure you subscribe to my channel I've got hundreds of videos now on YouTube uh, and even better still become a member very quick plug for $197 you get everything that I'm about to show you today all of my systems and strategies I've got free indicators there's no need to spend a fortune in mastering the art of day trading okay yes you can write me a 10,000 check if you wish but seriously traders now for a couple of hundred dollars you see the best indicators and strategies are free basically you know for, for, for really pennies in a dollar I will teach you how to trade 
sorry about that noise the phone ringing in the background and <laughs> and I should have actually mentioned at the start of this video all of my videos are all real and unedited okay if I fluff up on anything could you get to hear that as well so uh, there you go the phone ringing in the background so traders look just finally $197 there are over 200 hours of online video instruction 15 setups look you'll get to see some of this today just as I show you this but um, uh, you know there's nothing else like it globally I run a uh, and just very quickly I run a coaching room uh, two days a week uh, two evenings actually 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays I've got over 200 traders now that attend my live coaching sessions four hours a week and it's peanuts to attend and I've got traders from all around the world and some have been with me for two years so the only way really traders are going to fail in what I teach you is if you give up that's the only way and as I mentioned earlier one of the greatest challenges with traders is impatience okay they want to master everything in a couple of days and I'm, I'm still amazed at some of the um, emails that I receive and I receive hundreds so I mentioned I've got over 8,000 it's probably 9,000 uh, members now uh, globally and traders are just not willing to put the work into this it's not rocket science but you need to apply yourself and uh, anyway let's get into this and I'll show you so first of all why trade the e-minis well of course all the micros I should say well you can generate an income for life um, you know whether it's a hundred dollars a week or a thousand dollars a week or as I'm about to show you you want to earn twenty thousand dollars a week you know this ain't rocket science anyone can learn how to trade you just be You've just got to be really be willing to put the time in and now starting with the new e-mini contracts you, you know it lowers the risk dramatically there's still risk is risk with everything okay but it's a lot less and so the big question really that occupies virtually everyone's mind how do you manage to make a fortune out of a small amount how do I start with a small account and build even if you have a lot of money you start with a small account and you build you know you can always add to it as you develop confidence and this is one of the greatest challenges that traders have uh, and I've got a lot of very very wealthy clients is that you know it's great they want to get in and make the money quickly give yourself that 90 to 180 day internship so what are the main differences between what I'm going to show you well first of all we've got what we call the standard e-minis which is up to last year you've heard of the S&P the Nasdaq uh, the uh, the Dow the YM just typical e-mini futures contracts where typically you really do need five to ten thousand or more to trade those then the CME mid last year brought out what they call the micro e-minis and the differences are you know they're basically the same as a normal e-mini contract except they're one tenth of a size so the tick value if we say take the the e-mini S&P e-mini which is $50 a point okay uh, the tick value there's four ticks to a point is $12.50 for 12 but four by 1250 is $50 with the micro it is five dollars so therefore a tick or a movement in price is a dollar 25 if you look at the Nasdaq which is what I'll show you today and there's and I'll show you the comparison between them all uh, it's normally twenty dollars a point with the new micro it's two dollars a point and that is in four dollar sorry in four increments so we're 50 cents a movement so it's basically one tenth of a size the margin requirements are ten, one tenth of a size as well so instead of say requiring and if we look at um, uh, very high volatility at the moment we've got the coronavirus around the world and actually why don't I just quickly show you this let me show you this uh, where is it let me pull this up and let me just show you the margin requirements on TradeStation so I use the TradeStation platform and what I'm going to show you, you can use on virtually any platform but here uh, on the ES the standard contract at the moment uh, 13,200 yes you've got the intraday day trading margin but basically 13,000 if you're trading the Nasdaq 16 and a half thousand now with the micros it's 1320 on the ES the Nasdaq 1650 the Russell 
is only seven hundred and four dollars and you've got the micro YM which is the other uh, Dow is only eleven hundred and seventy seven if we even go say right down to uh, the yellow metal gold at the moment ten thousand look at crude oil all-time high basically ten thousand dollars to get trading we're going back early this year before the virus hit a couple of thousand dollars three four thousand dollars so a massive difference so these micros are truly a game changer and once again can you get wealthy out of trading this well let me show you in a moment the trading costs now if you're trading a standard e-mini contract depending on your broker you're going to pay anywhere between say three dollars eighty and say five dollars in that sort of uh, variance per contract now does that mean the micros are ten percent no it doesn't so with a micro you can go to and I, and I stay broker neutral but one broker a very good broker uh, that we many of my clients are with you'll pay around 90 cents uh, round turn that's actually I'll tell you who it is it's ninja trader so uh, ninja trader and I don't have an account with them I don't get a commission so I'm, I'm biased here so it's about 90 cents round turn if you own their trading platform where others will try will charge you up to two dollars fifty so in the examples I'm going to give you today we're going to work on a dollar fifty two dollars at the at the high side so instead of five, instead of being 10% of the cost say 45 cents you're sort of paying 20 to 40 percent of the normal cost but as you'll see that doesn't really matter now the next major difference is the daily volume now if we look at the volume today so it's uh, Thursday the 28th uh, in the USA 28th of um, uh, May if we look at the standard ES contract today it turned over around 19 1.9 million contracts now on the ES micro it was about 50% of that and same with the Nasdaq okay 780 and where the big contract where is that gone where is it uh, if I got it on this one no it's on another uh, I haven't sorry I haven't taken a screenshot of that one but never mind but the big contract uh, it's about 50% so there's a difference in the volume however it's extremely popular and that's the thing you really want to have or trade a contract that's really trading 80 to 100,000 contracts a day or more you want to have trading volume now as far as how do they then compare side by side so if you so if we look at the Nasdaq compared to the micro Nasdaq let me show you so what I've got here on the left is the micro so this is a, a four point Renko chart and we're going to be showing you Renko charts today and what I show you today by the way you can apply to tick charts time-based charts uh, range charts it really doesn't matter uh, I love Renko uh, charts combining them with tick that's beyond today's session but um, but I just want to keep it really simple and the beauty of Renko is of course it smooths the chart action out beautiful for newer traders or those that that uh, perhaps haven't been in the green that is they've been in the red uh, Renko is a really nice alternative so this is the micro and this is the big contract so if we look at some of the key points that point there is what I call a 2b if you look at you've got a 2b on both charts so remember this is $20 a point now these little steps by the way uh, if we look at this step here this is worth uh, four dollars on the micro so each one of those little steps I call them steps is four dollars in size where on the big contract they're forty dollars okay so that's um, uh, ten times the size now getting back to what I really care about see this point here this inflection point this turning point right there there it is there on the micros for those that are divergence traders you'll see there you had a nice divergence trade there here it is here the same on the big contract so there's very little difference as far as the actual movement of the charts which is important so let's 
uh, the volume I pretty much already mentioned that there's really good volume fantastic volume and it's far exceeded the CME's uh, expectations on the volume and that's important because realistically you can be trading 10 contracts no problem okay now let me just put a disclaimer there if you're trading right now and I'm recording this uh, very early morning Eastern Standard Time so right now you've got on some markets here what we call thinly traded you wouldn't want to go and say execute 20 contracts in a market order you'll get a ton of slippage but if you're a smaller trader initially no problem so on the big contract which is normally uh, $50 a point or a dollar 25 a tick uh, sorry 1250 a tick I should say 10 percent is only dollar 25 on the Russell 2000 normally it's five dollars uh, a tick here it's 50 on the Nasdaq it's twenty dollars a point there's four points to a tick sorry four ticks to a point let me get this right 50 cents and then we got the Dow which is five dollars a tick on the micro it's ten percent which is 50 cents so let's talk about risk traders I'm not going to BS you I'm going to tell you what you what it really takes to succeed in this business and what money cash you really have okay don't buy the lie that if you're a day trader that you can risk 5% traders you're going to be out of the business the maximum risk you ever want to have is 2% okay that's just so important if you break the money management rules traders you know you're not going to stay in the business now that's the beauty of this where you as you're about to see you can get underway with a thousand dollars and build from there and you can do it relatively quickly but it's important that you obey these laws so let's talk the micro ES okay which has got the most volume okay so there if we allow a margin of sixteen hundred dollars okay now the reason I'm picking 1600 is we want to look at the risk factor because what I'm going to show you with the micro and today in today's video we'll actually look at the NQ but it's the same principle okay we've got to look at what our risk is so 2% maximum risk including broker commissions so if we turn around and say we allow two dollars for the broker commissions okay it gives us thirty dollars that we can work on for risk per trade okay so we can lose thirty dollars and stay within our risk parameters now the other thing too is you want to have a little buffer ideally when you start off allow yourself one to two hundred dollars because you are going to push the wrong buttons you know that's the reality of learning and so have a little bit of risk capital on top of that so broker commissions I mentioned earlier vary anywhere from 80 cents round turn uh, up to two dollars fifty let's allow 200 which is on the high side now when you go from sixteen hundred dollars you then start trading two contracts when you then increase it by another 16 you start trading three now once you get up to up to 10 micro contracts this way you can then choose if you wish to go from the from trading 10 micros to trading a big contract and I'll show you this on a table in a moment this is very important don't gloss over this now so important as I mentioned is this risk factor so let's have a look at a spreadsheet you see it's so important traders that you have a goal and this spreadsheet um, as members you you get this in Excel so you can play around with this um, uh, and tailor this whether you've got uh, 100,000 or whether you're starting off as I'm showing you here with $1,600 what this shows us is this if you start off with $1,600 and net only $30 a day and I'm going to be showing you how to do this very soon okay down here what it shows us we start with this 1600 we're netting $30 a day within if we get up here within 11 weeks we're now trading two contracts so you're just going to get on and just net $30 a day keeping it very very low what it shows us here is that by week 50 I'm netting up to $8,000 a week 
and I've got $95,000 now on my capital just by $30 and this is one of the amazing things about compounding and trading now remember when I say compound I should be careful what I say here because compounding you only start trading another contract when you double your money once again traders I'm talking about conservative trading here okay waiting to you double your money then you trade another one and so forth now that's only $30 a day what if you go for $40 a day if you go with $40 a day within 40 weeks you have the potential actually uh, where is it 30 I should actually oh no week 37 it is so by week 37 you're netting up to 10,000 a week and your capital has grown to $89,000 by that time so you've got in the bank 89 grand based upon uh, every time so you're netting only $200 a week and every time you increase your capital by 1600 you start trading an additional contract let's just do one more and I'm not going to go any higher than this even though you'll see you have the potential of romping that in when you when we go to the charts and you'll see why let's just look at $50 per contract okay but with $50 uh, uh, per day your your by week uh, where are we week 29 which is uh, over here week 29 your weekly income is over ten thousand dollars a week and your capital is eighty one thousand week 29 netting only fifty dollars a day now by that time you would be jumping up and there you can see by that stage here you're trading 4750 minis or micros I should say at a time you would actually not probably be doing that you'd be trading uh, uh, 10 percent of that in the standard size contracts okay so we won't go in and show you more uh, tables on those because really this is about starting off with a small account and building your account sensibly so what we really want to be netting is fifty dollars a day is our target now as I mentioned once you get to that stage you can then look at trading the standard e-minis now what it would save you then is $15.50 per trade which is not a, a lot of money however when you get up to uh, trading 40 or 50 micros you would start to get what we call slippage so that's when you would start to um, uh, look at trading the standard contracts now another very very important factor here traders when we look at the 10% or increasing by 10 times the size with a micro ES contract if we've got a stop there of, of um, $30 or as I'm going to be showing you uh, on the uh, the Nasdaq an average stop of $25 on the big contract that would be the equivalent of two of 250 to 300 dollars that would mean that you would need to have 16,000 so I want you to um uh, I'll actually show you a chart when we go to the charts in a moment what this means because a huge benefit for traders that have either been struggling or if you're learning how to trade is that with the micros you can have a much larger what we call stop loss where normally when we're scalping the big contract uh, we, we might only be say have a risk of $80 per trade but we've got to be quick we've got to be quick with this you've got a much wider stop loss and I'll show you on the charts why that's much better side by side now the question that many clients ask me when they're first getting going can you trade with less than 1600 well of course you could go and trade micros on Forex you can get going for a few hundred right where it's only 10 cents a pip but realistically you need around a thousand as a minimum so if we consider the micro Russell which is a fantastic little market to trade you only need eight hundred dollars okay but what it means is if you're only trading with that you need to make sure that your stop loss is no greater than $14 when really uh, if you trade say let's see if you trade what we call a 10 tick 
Renko uh, with this market it's going to be realistically it's going to be around 16 to 18 dollars all right so you know that's the thing there's a cost to it the lower the amount of funds you got the smaller the stop loss now as we go to the charts in a moment we're about to do that I'm going to pull up my chair I've got one of these standing desks I'm going to pull up the chair as I explain this so we're probably going to go another 30 minutes uh, is that I've I don't want to talk about too many of the setups I teach over 15 but there's you know why so many where well, you've got counter trend setups you've got change in trend and you've got trend following but we start off with two only and as you're about to see these two setups kick butt big time and once you own these that is once you can recognize them in a blink of an eye you add another there is however a little bit more learning to do I'm not going to tell you that it's all just a walk and a park because you do need to recognize and learn what constitutes a trend what is divergence and what is angulation it ain't rocket science but you do need to learn these things and that's why I say it's going to really take a few months to pick it up correctly because I can give you everything except screen time screen time is something that you need to gain now let me give you the principle of what we're really going to be looking at to really succeed massively as a trader as a day or even swing trader what we want to be doing is trading in the direction of a higher time frame once again how we do all of this is beyond the scope of today's video but you'll get a glimpse of some of this so what we've got is a higher time frame being the dark blue line and we're going to wait for retracements or pullbacks which you're about to see and they're very very obvious on the anchor chart oh, sorry on the entry chart but what I have and I use three charts okay and as I said it takes a few hours to explain how to do those but this is the overall principle so these are the key questions that you that we are evaluating and constantly asking ourselves right do I have a setup so if you're day trading you're sitting there watching you're watching for the setup it's very important that we be focused okay does it fully qualify does it meet the rules and what's very very important and um, perhaps if I uh, well, look I won't pull those up but look this let me just show you this for an example on exit strategies I teach you there's a whole range of different ways of, of exiting the market okay there's a lot of different ways and so you really got to find something that suits you but I go through with you what are the best of the best in these types of strategies so where's my best entry point where do I put my stop loss we've of course got to put a stop loss if a trade goes against us and what is the best profit target exit point for the trade uh, for example where may the trade bounce or reverse of their floor pivots are there major support resistance areas close by now we have all of these on cheat sheets so let's now go to the charts and have a look at this and I'm just going to pause a sec and just have some tea quickly okay let's just start off with looking at um, one of the huge benefits of trading with the micros over the standard contract so in this particular case on the left hand side here I've got uh, the, uh, the uh, actually it's it's still the uh, the uh, micro in Q but it's only a one point brick okay only one point which is four ticks which is as a day trader that this is what you'd normally be trading somewhere in this sort of size and if you watch it tick over you've got to really be quick on the other hand on the right here I've got a four point Renko and you can see this is both ticking away at the same time but one of the huge benefits for a newer trader and one that's been struggling is you've got so much more time to place your order now with these smaller time frames you've got a smaller stop which is a stop loss which is the advantage but when you're trading the big contract and you've got these very large candles your stop loss is $250 where here on the micro now it's only $25 so the maximum I can lose if one of these goes against me is $25 well 
that's actually not entirely true that is it can always you can always get what we call slippage but overall 99.9% .9 of the time if you put in um, your proper stop loss you're going to get out and your loss with the way we do it is going to be 20 your risk is $25 per trade okay so let's go and have a look and you can see how it's just pumping away there let's go to a chart that we've already marked up for the day now what I'm going to do traders is I'm not going to show you and explain every setup for an example anyone experienced looking at their nose that you've got a beautiful little divergence here okay that's a no-brainer you can see that there there's your divergence okay this up there would be then what we call a 2d I'm not going to get into those because we want to keep it simple okay now this is another beauty of these markets they're basically open 23 hours a day so the market opens again at, at um, uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time 6 p.m. Uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, US time just for my European friends so what we've got here in the X open stands for the globe X open this is the overnight market when you trade overnight there are some a couple of little restrictions such as your margins and if and your volume is less however if you're trading one to ten contracts no problem you can trade this time when the when the market first open we don't want to really be trading the first five to ten minutes this trade here was uh, uh, 15 minutes afterwards or potential trade I wasn't on this one okay but it was uh, but I, I've got to tell you I would have taken it by the way and on this one uh, I would have been stopped out of that for seven now what I mean by that each one of these steps and I call them steps step ups here you can see is on this size chart okay is four dollars now what I actually give you and what you get in your training you get um, uh, I have all of these all set out for you on the different chart types how you set up your the size charts that you set up for your entry your anchor chart one and anchor chart two there's a formula that I use for all of this so I've got this for the Nasdaq the um, uh, the ES the Russell and the Dow so the, so I call them cheat sheets so there's lots of different types of for different markets but here the chart I'm going to be showing you here our objective is to go for seven steps now seven steps will gross us $28 okay now remember I mentioned earlier we want to take off two dollars for commissions okay so that brings us back to uh, $26 now our risk that is our stop loss if we enter using what I call the super scalper or, or uh, the t1 our risk is $25 so to net $50 a day we need two of these now also we're going to have what we call break even rules that is when we get to five steps we want to break go to break even now sometimes we'll do it even quicker than that it just depends on where our support resistance is so there's some other concepts that we incorporate but we won't go into uh, uh, those um, right now okay and we also then have what we call 34 B's or rule of ones where we scalp the market where our maximum risk is only $16.50 okay so it's a lot lower uh, however today I'm only going to show you the ones with the largest stops okay and so we're our goal is seven steps we want to go to break even and there are some losses here as you'll see okay so we want to go get two net net trades a day that's important okay and each one of those steps is four dollars so right there lost $25 bad luck okay that's just why now there is something here for if there are any existing members watching this I remember the concept and all those in my coach you know we talk about waiting for the first candle to close on the anchor chart well if you had waited there that would have kept you out of that trade anyway but even so uh, there I'm saying I would have taken it minus seven now here seven plus seven means that we want to get seven plus steps now let me be very clear on my entries I'm not in I'm using what we call buy stops that is my entry is going to be one tick above the third candle 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 now the big advantage in using a four tick or, or a four point sorry Renko 
is you've got plenty of time to put your trade entries in okay and we use a buy stop or a sell stop if need be you can use a market order where you're going to get a couple of ticks slippage usually okay you're going to pay a little more uh, so you can use a market order in a fast moving market or a limit order or a, um, a buy stop or sell stop there's different types of orders but I show you what those are so here I'm entering on the close or one tick above the third candle and where's my stop loss go one tick below one tick below if I was entering up here be one tick above now we're going for plus seven plus seven plus that means you could have exceeded that now traders remember earlier I mentioned that there are a whole lot of different things you can do when it comes to going for profit targets let me just quickly show you a couple of those right one of the things we might go and do if you're a trade station user or a ninja trader eight user I've got this cool little ATR um, stop and flip indicator I've got coded and you get this free in my program so see these blue dots and you can adjust that so if you had entered there you would could have stayed in this trade all the way up to, to here now there's your $50 by the way in that one move you've romped it in and there is another one there probably almost done that the same thing there within that move as well okay so you've hit your target for the day uh, I won't even tell you what happens when you start making a hundred dollars a day per contract all right we won't even go into that now another thing you can do is if you don't say um, uh, have my ATR or let me just say you can also use something called a parabolic SAR now the parabolic SAR was designed by Wells Wilder many many years ago and if we look at the parabolic SAR and SAR stands for the SAR stands for stop and reverse now here this has got uh, that's not the standard setting let me just show you the standard setting you which is two which is two there which is this one just here but I teach you how to sort of tailor these if you want to use uh, a tool now remember indicators are just that they're just indicators they virtually every indicator is what we call a derivative of price they plot after the fact probably about your only real leading indicator are things like uh, like your floor pivot you can see this blue line here okay so but there are tools you can use to keep you in the trade uh, to basically visually assist you in exiting the trade with Renko also you can use reversals on the Renko you can even use my white paint bar here which I call the super scalper all right so there we had we had a loss we had a nice winner nice winner nice winner now I won't even go into these divergence trades with you okay I don't want to confuse you um, now remember I said there are two trades there that I'd recommend that all new traders master to begin with they are what we call your 34 B's and your two B's which are these ones which are deeper pullbacks uh, why because they kick butt okay uh, this was a um, little training session I did before so here is what we call a 2d divergence trade by the way now remember earlier I said you do want to learn divergence and this is why when you get really strong divergence divergence on higher time frames your next trade after that is more likely to be a failure or fail at one stage now remember I said really you go to once you hit plus five you want to go to break even now that just hit plus five and even if it didn't uh, because it was off a 2d you probably would have got out of that all right because you know that after 2d's a, a, a portion of these and the reason we call it a 2bd it's what we call a 2b trade but it's after divergence okay but that there was a 2b thank you very much and that hit plus seven plus uh, then you had a number of 34s we won't even go into making money out of those let's just focus on the easiest to learn and that's your next and they're, look they're easy to learn now the market then rolled over then we had another 34 then we had a 2bd again only hit plus uh, five okay then I had a 34b now I then had a minus seven and the reason that was there was it was very marginal whether you would have even taken that however 
um, I'm not going to uh, uh, not show you every potential entry because I want you to know that the trades here are ones that you would have taken as well okay uh, everyone can say okay, I've been I've been doing this now traders for nearly 27 years been doing this a long long time so it's a you know these in a blink of an eye so I've marked that up as a potential loss okay so minus seven then you had a, a really nice rally again now remember you're down seven on these $25 plus your commission okay so um, and then these went more than seven then you had a plus six okay you had an entry now you may be looking at that traders and saying how is that a trend trade remember we're only talking about trading with the trend well traders let me show you something here the vault summit even hardly anyone really knows about and that's this trading off support and resistance on higher time frames it's a walk in the park when you understand what you're looking for but all I'm doing this trade here is that there it's bouncing on my support areas on higher time frames it kicks butt okay so we look we actually call those 200 EMA overshoots and you know that there when you get these overshoots a lot of traders would say no way am I going to trade that but that was golden okay now you only hit plus six before it pulled back and I will say if you decided to stay in that it went up well and truly plus seven or it went up to probably plus ten plus twelve and you weren't taken out however we would have gone the break even and once hit plus six there's no way known I'm going to give plus six back now plus six is twenty four dollars okay so you might give back ten you know maybe eight dollars ten dollars but you want to lock some profit in okay then we had another bounce right there Then we come down uh, and actually right there you had a, a had a couple of 34s on the way down then you had let me just look at that was that a uh, 2d just to be sure just uh, look at this here okay yep so right there then and we had <laughs> to be some of you look there's a heap here I haven't even picked up so you can't even quite see it there traders but right there you had a trade which was plus seven now normally you look at that traders and you say there's no way known I'll take this is a counter trend now remember I mentioned you need to learn angulation see the angle of that that's called angulation so normally it's a counter trend trade but in fact it was actually a 2b but that a bounce on a high time frame so that's what we call angulation it's really easy to pick these on Renko charts so you can get Renko charts on basically any platform today if you're trading with MT4 you'll need to buy a plug-in uh, to uh, for MT4 uh, it costs you $50 I'll, I'll I give members just I don't get anything out of it. just advise your guy that you can go and buy it so if you use MT4 and and I should point out what I'm teaching you here or showing you here works on any market okay works on any market and any time frame the markets are a geometric in nature the pattern that you see right here works on a one-day chart it works on the smallest of charts it's something that I learned from Bill Williams about um, fractals is fractals within fractals within fractals it's just amazing when you start to learn this but what it does it opens up a whole new world of really understanding how trading really works so that actually was a 2b there but anyway didn't mark it up now that came after and there was a plus five break even I won't even talk about those now they were borderline 2b's but let's not include them I want to talk about plain vanilla ones that you would have picked there is a big move there there is a 34 actually was that one just there and that's the thing you uh, no it wasn't no that's why I didn't include it okay so I'm just talking about plain vanilla you had your 34s down and here was a loss okay you then had plus six now just with that your yeah you would have been so because it hit plus five you're then going to go to break even as soon as you're up plus six you're going to lock bring your stop loss down here okay there's no way known you're going to give away twenty four dollars okay uh, per contract you, you know you're just not going to do that so you would have been out 
there and that's why even though your stop loss is up you never had any chance of any way being stopped out but you would have only locked in success another plus seven a couple of 34s go out of a turn in the market then we get back up okay a nice plus seven into the close now these are the plain vanilla trades so there's a stack of what we call ruler ones on the way through and others now we've opened up into the globe session so um let me just show you what's been oh sorry this is the New York open I should say <laughs> my apologies so we're into the New York open I'll keep going a few minutes longer here because I think it's important that if you're looking at joining me as a trader or if trading's not kind to you but I want to show you that there's real hope for you this ain't rocket science what I'm showing you it's about understanding the fanning of the EMAs and how anchor charts work in conjunction with an entry chart okay now so this is the New York open now within the first 10 15 minutes um, I call it the the killing field you want to be very careful and we can see here because these are very large these are four point candles it's a lot slower but if you were trading a smaller time frame man it flies okay so getting back here and uh, four minutes after the market opened you had a 2b here right and these 2b's kick but they're your 85% trade so if you had have taken that you would have had to have used the market order 34 34 look 34 look you it would have five seconds you had just checking the timing there so I actually you had about 30 seconds from there to there right but they move so that's why I didn't mark that up because a lot of traders prefer to wait until over here okay which um, are there that's some um, 50 minutes after so sorry that's 20 minutes after the market open and that one only achieved plus six break even locked in now see the floor pivot up here these are what we call predictive when you see yourself coming up and see how it says only plus six we nearly always get a bounce at the pivot nearly always so you're always aware of that so if you're going for seven steps what I call seven steps okay is your target which is a one-to-one -one on your risk ratios as you can see you go for can go for much greater when you know you're coming up to an area of resistance okay get ready to exit or get ready to pull your stops up okay we now then come on down okay so we you know we come on down we then have a bounce we have then an overshoot and let me show you again why you would have taken that one okay so right there is right there I've got support on my three higher time frames it is and there why not that one because I didn't have support there we we're above the EMAs traders this is a game changer because you can start with the miners and you can trade the higher time frames meaning you've got a lot more time to place your trades okay there's a plus seven plus seven now these ones here note they're all deep pullbacks these are the two B's and um, uh, so they're plus seven plus by the time you got up there plus seven you romped it in there okay then you had some 34s now here we had will rolling over and you had a stop out there now when you roll over here these are your higher danger areas traders we have a saying in our business and we say um, do we have a fanning of the EMAs a fan is where they're separating their parting okay or when they're stacking a stacking of the EMAs are above each other this is when you start to go and chop but you need to still learn how to trade these areas because they can still be very profitable and they mark the turn of the markets okay so right there and I would have taken that trade I would have been down seven uh, I would have been down $25 on that trade then it hit a plus six that was a genuine bounce you would have taken that one that was actually a bounce on a higher time frame all right say $10 there $10 there then there's a plus seven and when I say plus seven it actually exceeded that okay so be very careful if ever you're doing your back testing and it goes right up to the dollar amount or right up to what we call the tick you need to allow to be honest with your back testing you've got to tick through your target to be guaranteed a fill right otherwise you may not get filled there's plus seven then we get another nice plus seven look at this here there's your home runs again so this is where you could be using your uh, multiple ways you can be using your ATR the parabolic 
there's a lot of things there and don't forget anyone that's familiar with Renko's your ruler ones and trading these tails see these tails these are all scalping opportunities 34 let's just keep going all right because then I want to show you what's happening right now okay plus seven here thank you very much now when we start to roll over here there's very specific rules now for members in the room or watching this uh, <laughs> even though this is a technically a marketing video uh, why was this one not a 2b note here it wasn't a 34b okay so it's not that's why it's not marked up and as we can see there you've got a beautiful slingshot just there but now it becomes a 2b there's your cross now it's a 2b right so down there we've got there plus seven a little bounce and you get here we've got plus seven once again there's a ton of other trades here I'm not talking about then we actually had another bounce where where you would have been stopped I would have been stopped plus seven plus seven I forget that one that's actually a beautiful little no-brainer divergence trade right now for those that are interested in divergence see how we've got a higher high we've got a lower high and what really cements this one it's also a pivot bounce having three reasons for taking a trade is always better than having one okay so I've got clear-cut divergence a higher high and a pivot bounce and my anchor charts are now in a downtrend okay so we won't include that nor that one that's a no-brainer to 2d all right plus seven forget that because that's a 2d uh, that would have been a little lost there all right but you're selling right into the pivot so no surprise there for the experienced traders but you've had a look you had a 34 just there anyway all right we then had another seven plus seven and look at that move when you're heading towards the end of the day now this is all in the one day uh, 23 hours okay then we're coming down here only a now that was not a 2b it was only a 21b for the experienced members here this was another marginal one would have been a break even if you had have taken it now if you look at this here we're now making new higher highs which means it's becoming a counter trend trade all of the trades that I'm showing you are actually trend following trades but then you had a no-brainer to be just there okay now the market reopens okay we're now into the market again this is what we call the globe session and we'll finish up in a minute because I just want to show you what's been happening here so the market opens then we had come down we had that bounce at 11 minutes past and you may remember the start of the day before we had a loss there was basically a break even then we had a bounce okay market then comes down and let's just do this what the heck okay so just uh, here I've then got a 2b for the experienced members in the room that is what you're looking at now and let me ask you all of course I can't hear you back but what is the direction of the trend look at my middle anchor chart look at my highest time frame we are traders are in a downtrend we want to take that one now why take that one with well, some specific reasons but anyway um, it is still a 2b there it is down here but it rolls over so now we come down and let me just see here okay that is a 34 but then that one right there is my re-entry one two three four five now that only touched five okay that's a break-even trade can't lose any money on it but it only hit five now remember five steps is still twenty dollars so once it starts to pull back you can always lock in some profit but what you've got to be careful of is the markets there's always going to be ebbs and flows in the markets traders so if you go to, to break even too early and you do get a bit of a pullback you can have what we call trend continuation so that's the trade-off okay if you're only hit plus five you you want to lock in at least cover your commission okay but you don't want to pull your stop up too too tight because sometimes it'll roll over and get back in such as this that then trade it back down now what am I waiting for here I'm waiting for another retracement here that was a 34 just there 
I'm waiting for it now I'm getting one I don't have my clothes yet not yet not yet now I've got one okay so what I would be looking at is my anchor chart just there so I've now got a trade right there and we get stopped on that trade and immediately it turned into just there just there a 2b just there now that is and this is why you want to be looking at and this is what we call a 2bd why is that a 2bd remember that one those couple that I showed you at a higher risk down here see I've got divergence here and I've also got divergence on a higher time frame and lo and behold <laughs> it's a 3d I've got divergence here I've got divergence on three time frames telling me that this is a high risk trade why because I've got divergence on the higher time frames telling me that the market is turning so you would have had a loss there if you had have taken it and look the reason I still say to take two B's two BD's because sometimes they do keep running and there's still a 60% plus trade okay now up here just one moment traders sorry about that my phone was uh, buzzing away there uh, so this is a clear-cut uh, 2b to say so any members watching this there's your 2b okay there and there now one two three four five six seven so that covers that one if you had have taken that now what do we got there by the way just there you've got a little divergence trade and also a higher time frame bounce this is what you would be looking at just that just there now let's just talk about this see divergence and divergence just there but there's something else magical about this particular setup you're bouncing on one of the higher time frames EMAs okay so when you get those you want to take those okay now there we only went down one two three four now let's just say you only touch five and a half remember earlier I spoke about exits and let me just uh, show you this this is important yeah I'm showing you a lot here today now what you always want to know is here target key support resistance areas such as daily highs and lows floor pivots previous swing high and major EMAs okay when we trade traders we're always thinking this where is price possibly going to where may price bounce or reverse it's a little bit hard for you to see that on the bottom of that just because it's hidden a bit by that thing there let me just do this where may price get away bounce or reverse it says it's not going to go away okay there you go where may price when you have your major EMAs in an uptrend okay price has got a very high probability of reversing very very high probability of reversing okay and where have we rallied up to the floor pivot again now why was this a 2b traders well there's my bounce there's my bounce okay and now I've got a major 2d again okay so just there we've now got a 2d what makes this a 2d I've got divergence I've got divergence and a pivot bounce one two three four five six seven eight nine plenty of room and where do you come back down and bounce on once again on your major EMAs so traders I look this is now a one hour video but I really wanted to show you here that um, uh, anyone can pick this up some of it initially may be over your head and you go wow I'm not going to pick this up you have what I call aha experiences okay it's a bit like when you learn and I know you hear me say this if you're a member of mine or, or you've watched a lot of my videos that it's a bit like driving a stick shift motor vehicle okay you've got to change your gears use the clutch the brake the indicators look in the mirror etc but when you start off with just learning this trade there that one there okay there's a reason and there's concrete rules on these that one there okay that one there okay when you learn those and just execute every single one okay then you start to add your 34 B's 
then you can start to trade divergence further down now even if you choose not to trade divergence and one of the challenges with divergence is that um, traders always have had this thing of wanting to pick highs and lows pick tops and bottoms it's also one of the hardest forms of trading you need to understand it because you need to understand when the markets turning okay that's that's important uh, when you've got a market turn but you just want to trend trade so finally traders we will pull up here uh, with this is it um, even better still become a member okay uh, for $197 there is nothing like this out there there's no need to spend a fortune on expensive indicators now certainly you might need you might want to go and buy ninja trader or you've got to open up your account but save your hard-earned dollars for your trading account look uh, then we've got member specials um, for coaching and if once you become a member we've got members uh, that only pay um, uh, $97 a month to be in my coaching room 97 a month it's peanuts for what's that now uh, what is it 16 hours of live coaching each month we do it from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. so if you're looking at going full-time or you want to master those yes it's all in my program by the way there's, a, there's dozens of videos in fact let me just pause I just want to quickly show you one thing and then I'll let you go sorry traders this I wanted to quickly find this so if you're wondering uh, are you going to learn all of this there are hundreds of videos that I've recorded over the years that you get on all of the different markets the different types of trading the different setups etc however there's always a risk when I show you these and that's this some traders look at this or new traders how am I going to learn all this I want to keep it simple and that's why you've got to remember and practice what we call the one thing what's the one trade that I can trade that's easy to learn to start with and that is the 2b followed closely by the 34b you start simply and you can build for the experienced traders or for those that that are what what I call thinker mentalities okay you name it I've got it there there are dozens of cheat sheets and everything anyway come and join me so while I do this as you probably gathered because I love it I'm passionate about trading I get more and more excited as I learn more over years so anyway I'll see you on the other side thanks traders